blow. Um, I have a very, very, the most exciting unboxing ever. I am unboxing this big, it's pretty heavy boy. Um, this is my Christmas present from Kate, Kate File, that's her YouTube, obviously I'm gonna link her. I mean, if you're subscribed to my account, I'm assuming you're already subscribed to Kate, but Kate is my best friend. She sent me a Christmas present and sadly I couldn't send her anything right now. Just certain circumstances and things and I'm fucking broke. Someone want to give me a job. I couldn't to make it work to send her a Christmas present now, like in time for Christmas. Um, it's Christmas Eve right now as I'm filming this and um, that's kind of perfect. But sadly, I couldn't make anything work to send to her now in time for Christmas. But like Christmas is like her favorite thing ever. She just fucking loves it. So I'm... I already have so many ideas. Like, I literally have lists of things for, like, I'm like, oh my god, this would be perfect. I just think of it, I just mention something, and I'm like, yes. And so, like, um, I'm gonna, when things, uh, stable out for me, I'm gonna just send her a giant package of shit, because she deserves it for being the best. And I'm just gonna cut in this. If I know Kate correctly, inside of here, it's gonna be wrapped. Ugh! Um, she kept telling me, oh, it's cute. Everyone says it's cute, blah, blah, blah. And I go, what the fuck does that even mean? Like, you know? Jesus Christ, I am so bad at this. Yeah. All right, is your wrapping paper? Oh, Jesus. Oh, wait, there's a couple little things in here. It's wrapped. Um, there's this. And this. That's so fucking heavy. Wait, that is like a couple things. Oh my god, wait. <gasps> Did she send me her freaking thingy thingy? First off, this is her syllabus for uh her her freaking freaking freak. This is the syllabus she made for her um independent study she's doing all about Peter Pan and adaptations and like stuff and i think at she's gonna talk about that's really cute cool i'm gonna look at that later okay i think we'll do this one because this one's very light i don't feel like dealing with the other one <gasps> wait wait i know what this is first off this packaging phenomenal 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 ah <gasps> uh -huh. Guys, it's one of the beanies, the beanies that she loves and she wears all the freaking time. Uh, it's black, of course. I mean, uh, this is actually a perfect gift for me only because I wear a beanie every day. I wear a hat every single day. I can't leave. I don't do anything without one on. And this is and it has a fuzzy ball. I don't know if people aren't into that, but like, I don't have enough with those. Oh, I love it. It's going to be a slouchy one. Hold on, let me try it. This is it. Oh, it feels so nice. It's so snug and warm. But it's not like a heavy or like constricting. Uh, but it fits. And I, I have a small head. I don't know if you can tell. But like, um, sometimes things don't fit right. Oh, it's so good. And now we're going to open this. I don't know. We're going to just pull one thing out. Let's just go with this. What is this? It's a book. That's so fucking cool. Wait. Wait. Okay. It's um Hide and Seek with Angels, A Life of J.M. Barry, the author of Peter Pan by Lisa Cheney. Wait, is this just a biography about him? Wait. Oh my god. Okay, in case you didn't know, yeah, so let's tie it back to this. Her, this is the syllabus for independent study, all about Peter Pan. So, Kate heard Peter Pan a couple years ago and fucking loved it. It's, like, one of her favorite fucking classic favorite, like, stories of all time. Obviously, she's gonna be doing an entire fucking course on it. And, like, she's, every, everything's about Peter Pan. And so, I grew up just loving Peter Pan. It was that one story for me that just, like, connected. I talked about Peter Pan a few times on my channel. But I love the story. I've read so many different, like, abridged versions. I have so many copies. I have so many different things related to Peter Pan and, like, little 
dolls and things and pins and stuff. And for her birthday, I got her a, a Peter Pan pin because that's something that we just got to bond over. And like, yeah, like K-pop and other books and stuff, but that's such a specific thing. And it's something that was so important in my life and has always been important in my life. And the fact that it's just, she loves it and she's read like every fucking adaptation ever of it. And that shit's so important to her to fucking be doing this. Oh. So I got her the pin for her birth and I got it from Disneyland when I went. And she got, it's all coming together and it's a nice hardcover. Oh, that's so like academic -y. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my God, wait, I literally want to read this. When is she doing that? So I think that connects. She's going to be reading this for this. When the frick is she reading it? Winter break? Wait, I got it. I'm reading it with her, right? That's, that's the thing, right? And the last one is... Oh, wait, where does this one go then? I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Wait, that's so... <laughs> you got me Jay and Barry and the Lost Boys by Andrew Birkin, which is a, another, um, another freaking biography. When is she reading this? So wait. Hmm. They're all for winter break. God damn it, Kate. Do you think they know how to read? Oh, Ty. Oh, wait. I'm literally going to look at this. So, I have I haven't read many adaptations because I am that person that just enjoys the real story so much. There's a few that I've wanted to read, obviously. Like, um, Peter Darling. Yeah, that one. She's reading Tyler Lily. Oh, I can reread that. That's in February. Oh, my God. That's my birthday time. Oh. Oh. There's illustrated different versions. I can literally just be taking this course with her. Is that the- I think that's the point of it? Oh, I'm gonna fucking cry. <laughs> okay, that might- it might seem so dorky. Like, obviously, like, yes, I like books. So you're gonna buy people books if they like those things. And it's like, oh, I like Peter Pan. I've never read anything about Jay and Barry before. I remember she asked me, do you know anything about him? And I go, he, like, donated all, like, he died, he, like, sold the rights to, like, a children's hospital of Peter Pan, so every proceed of the book and everything went to the children's hospital, which is, like, amazing and awesome. And I was just like, oh, I've never heard that. And I was like, maybe I made that up. Oh, my God, there's so many pictures! This is cool. I don't read enough nonfiction, but I love biographies of people that I fucking enjoy and, like, are obviously has had a big impact in my life. And I... I get, I've said this before so long ago, I remember saying this about something, where if I enjoy art, like, a creation of some, like, something, a media of some form, whatever it is, I love getting the context behind when and how and where and everything about when that piece was made to feel, like, better connected and understand it better. So it's just, like, learning more about him and, like, starting out his writing it and just after, before, everything that led to it and his life surrounding Peter Pan is like, oh, okay, wait, recap, this one, and this one, and my beanie, honestly, like, I would have just been happy with a beanie, because I fucking love beanies, I can never have too many beanies, I did a whole freaking beanie fucking thing on my channel before, and I could do it again, because I just get so many, because I love them, and it's never too much for me. I just, it's just because I wear one every day. It doesn't matter. Oh, I'm going to fucking cry. This is, oh my God. It literally, I, I don't even. Okay, I'm going to go before I actually just fucking start crying on camera. So, um. Thank you, Kate, for all of this and just being my best friend this past year. It's been over a year now, but like. Thank you for just being there and bonding with me over the dumbest shit, and especially with Peter Pan. I'm happy that we have this one thing that's just very special to each other separately that can bring us closer together. Because we talk about her fucking- I mean, obviously we're going to talk about all of her stuff independent study, but I love that we can talk a little more about certain things. Because, like, obviously it's important to me and she's going to tell me about things. But, like, now if we both are just, like, learning more about it, I'm going to be fucking nerd. I'm going to... What is the actual syllabus? I'm going to do that shit. Don't just hold me to that. Because I'm fucking dumb. But, oh, Like, like... 
it's such a meaningful thing because it's like yes i love certain things i love a beanie um black did she know that i wanted a fucking poofy ball i don't think i've ever said that but i don't have enough like that i needed more i obviously love peter pan i love books it's just... oh i'm gonna fucking i'm gonna frame this home get a binder i'm gonna fucking do my work oh this is so cute <laughs> thank you kate obviously um everyone if if you're somehow not subscribe to her please go try to do she's actually close to 10k please forget her that um Oh, I can't. I love this cover. I'm geeking out. I need to. I need to go. Thank you, Kate. Um, I have so many ideas for gifts for her. I just need to wait for my life to see a lot, and then I'm gonna just be like, Yo, I'm gonna send you something. At I don't know how far into the future, and she better do an unboxing of it because duh, it's been the most, like a random belated something. I don't know. Oh my god, wait, I'm just having ideas now. Oh my god, I gotta go. I will not be buying your tickets, but you get extra credit for field work. That's so funny. All right, everybody, um, go tell Kate that I love her, that she's the best. Cool, all right, uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays, even if you don't celebrate anything. Just hope you're having a great time. Stay warm. I know I'm not making videos for like...